Hey guys, so today I'm showing you a sped up version of myself doing a nose gear strut service on this Saab 340. So these struts, like most others, are a air oil strut, uh, the oil being mil 5606 hydraulic fluid and air being 100% nitrogen of course. So there's a floating piston inside these sob struts. The air is on the bottom side of the strut and the oil is on the top. So what I'm doing here now is I'm using the, f the floating piston. I didn't discharge the strut first, but if I crack the bleed, one of the bleed screws up top, I put a little hose on it and uh, carefully unwind it a little bit, the air charge pushes the floating piston up and expels all the old oil out from the top and then it stops when that's when you know the piston is at the very top of its travel. So before we go filling it I need to make sure that the piston is back bottomed. So what I'm doing now is I'm hooking up this little adapter we have right there. I took out the one bleed screw, thread that in and I'm going to be hooking up the bottle here in a second, but not before I have to discharge the, the bottom side. So right now I'm opening up the Schrader valve, letting all the nitrogen out, because the piston's not going to want to go down if there's still air fighting it on the bottom side of it. So I open up the bottle and I'm feeling with my hand and also listening. It doesn't take much, maybe 100 psi, just crack it and you can feel the piston slam down. And if you can't feel it, usually you can just hear it, uh, hear the air stop rushing out of the bottom Schrader valve. So I disconnect the nitrogen. I take out the other bleed screw now and just getting set up to fill the strut with oil. So I disconnect the other bleed screw just a little bit like I did before and put a hose on it. And I'm now hooked into this hydraulic pump we have here, which is actually the handle I'm using and the pump itself is a wobble pump from a, a de Havilland Beaver, which is pretty cool. Works like a charm for this. So again, yeah, using mil H5606 hydraulic fluid, it's red in color. Just have to keep filling the strut until it comes out the uh, other side. That's when you know it is completely full. Usually on, on the mains, uh, it's about two, two and a half, maybe three quarts worth. And on the nose, I think it's around two and a half three-ish. But you keep pumping until you get a steady stream of clean looking fluid out the other side, which I've got here now. So I then go and disconnect my hydraulic fill adapter hose and install the plug back inside and tighten it up. And here's what that Schrader valve looks like at the base of the strut for the nitrogen filling. And the oil bleed screws are up top there. Those two things. It's starting to get a little cold. Somebody opened the door so I had to put it on my my sweatshirt. So with the plug back inside and our tire holder broken, which is a tool we usually use for this, I just ended up using this floor jack here. So with the one drain open, still or cracked anyway with my hose hooked up to it, you then go and you compress the strut completely, which expels most of the fluid but not all. And you just want to go up slowly so as not to blow off your drain line because there's 
you're compressing all that fluid in there, so it, 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 it takes a bit of a push. go until the strut completely bottoms and of course once it bottoms the fluid will stop coming out but there still is fluid in there it's it's hiding in uh, cavities in the, the pistons bottom so there's still there's not much fluid that that is left in these struts after you do this so before I let it down I quickly took off the hose and I tightened up that second drain screw which I can show you in a second so as not to draw in any air on the top side of the, the strut. So now with it fully extended I change the air adapter to gooseneck fitting to put onto the Schrader valve at the base and I inflate this to about the manual calls for 186 psi. So with 186 PSI adjusted on the regulator, you crack the Schrader valve with a three-quarter inch wrench. Give it a few seconds for the nitrogen to go in. And before turning the bottle off, you have to close the Schrader valve again. And then now you can relieve pressure in the bottle, disconnect the hose. And that concludes a strut service. The mains are the same principle, it's just the drain, the oil drain valves are on the back of the strut, not the front. So I was by myself today doing this, so it's kind of a pain in the ass jacking an airplane by yourself and letting it down, but I made it work. And good practice on any airplane. As soon as the jacks you're using have lowered enough to get them out, don't ever put your hand on top of them, of course, because the airplane might settle. But uh, when you get them low enough, rip them out quickly, just in case the airplane does, for whatever reason, settle down and you don't put a jack through the wing. So here I am now just checking the uh, strut lengths and uh, fine-tuning from there. It's just a matter of adding or letting some air out with the, the nitrogen. And that's it.